Excuse me, sir, would you like some cough with your meal? <sighs> okay, well, that would be pretty nasty, but there are some restaurants that exist that kind of make what I just did seem like nothing. Around the world, there exists some famous restaurants that are famous for the strangest things that you can imagine. And trust me, when you hear about these, you're definitely not gonna wanna eat there. Or maybe you will. I don't know, some of you are kinda weird. Here are the 10 weirdest restaurants in the world. Number 10 is the Kaya Bukia Tavern. One of the strangest restaurants in the world has an unusual employment policy to uh, say the least. If you were to walk into the Kayabukiya Tavern in the Japanese city of Utsunomiya, you'd find a traditional sake house, but one with an important difference. The tavern's owner employs two macaque monkeys. One of the monkeys, Yat-chan, is dressed smartly in a uniform and shirt. He takes his customers' drink orders and then brings them over to their tables. The second monkey, Fuku-chan, is the young of the two and his responsibility is to bring hot towels to each customer so that they can clean their hands before eating. Both monkeys are paid in soya beans, with customers tipping them using the simian currency. The tavern also employs a giant sloth that massages your feet as you wait. Okay, I made that last little bit up about the sloth, but hey, wouldn't that be cute? A man can dream. Number nine is Bounce. If all of my years of eating have taught me anything, it's that ping pong and eating go hand in hand, or something like that. Finally, someone has filled this niche by opening a table tennis themed restaurant in London. It's called Bounce, and if you enjoy dodging flying ping pong balls while chewing on a slice of pizza, then this place is for you. Between the dining tables are ping pong tables just waiting to be played under the blue neon lights above. If flailing at real balls isn't your thing after a meal, then Bounce also offers Wonder Ball. This uses state-of-the-art projectors to project the flight of a digital ball onto a real ping pong table. I personally like the real thing, but I'm sure Wonder Ball is preferential to having a real ping pong ball land in your suit. Unless that's some sort of new food fusion thing I'm unaware of. Number eight is the Robot Restaurant. There's a basement in the Shinjuku city in Japan where food enthusiasts can experience the cutting edge of food. And when I say cutting edge, I literally mean it. The restaurant is filled with robots. Customers can order a bento box or other food. While enjoying their meal, robots perform around them. This includes bright neon tanks, giant flashing dolls playing drums, and even human robot hybrids. Of course, the robots are controlled by seasoned performers who put on four shows a night. The restaurant is decorated in video screens and bright neon lights, so migraine sufferers are probably best to look somewhere else for that evening's meal. If you trust the machines, this is one place you're going to want to go to enjoy your food. Me, on the other hand, I know Skynet is coming, so I'll be eating my bento box in an abandoned bunker. <laughs> Good luck. Number seven is New Lucky Restaurant. In many cultures, feasting was often associated with celebrating an ancestral line to raise a glass to the dead. But the new lucky restaurant in Ahmedabad in India takes this approach to new heights. If I were to tell you that the unofficial name for new lucky restaurant is the graveyard restaurant, then uh, you'll have a good idea of what to expect. The restaurant is built on an ancient cemetery. You might think that the graves would have been beneath the building, but not here. In the new lucky restaurant, the gravestones poke out of the ground and have to be navigated when finding a seat. The graves are painted bright green and are adorned with flowers. Sure, as eating practices go, this is bizarre, but hey, think of it this way. Lone diners never need to eat by themselves again. Number six is the Undersea Restaurant. The Itha Undersea Restaurant in the Maldives is every bit true to its name. It's really under the sea. Customers who eat there are led through the Rangali Island Resort down into a long transparent tunnel under the sea. The glass provides customers with a 270 degree panorama view of the marine wildlife while they eat. The tunnel itself is made from an acrylic material with a reinforced steel frame. A zinc coating protects the structure from corrosive properties of the salt water which surrounds it. However, eventually the sea will make its way through. That's the last thing you want while you're eating. La la la, oh god! You know, that's kind of comforting. The diminutive restaurant holds only about 14 people at a time so at least when the roof finally goes, casualties will be minimal. I kid, I kid. The restaurant owners will know well in advance when it's time to vacate the premises. You know, just bring a life jacket, just in case. 
Number five are cabbages and condoms. The Cabbages and Condoms restaurant chain was founded in Bangkok, but now has restaurants all throughout the world. And it's a good thing too. Despite the strange name and unorthodox approach to eating, Cabbages and Condoms promotes public health issues and raises money for charities trying to bring attention to the HIV and AIDS epidemic. Visitors to the restaurant first walk through the gift shop filled with memorabilia promoting safe sex. They're then seated in the restaurant where they can order a wide selection of foods. All around there are hanging decorations made from condoms and mannequins dressed in clothes that are made from the same. After a meal, patrons are provided with a pack of condoms and sent on their way. Just don't get your cabbages mixed up with the condoms, that could be disastrous. Number four is the clinic. One of the world's strangest restaurants was in Singapore up until only recently. It finally closed its doors in 2018, and uh, you'll understand why it wasn't exactly the hit that the owners were hoping for. The restaurant was called The Clinic. Everything in it, from the food to the furniture and decor, was hospital themed. Hospitals aren't exactly known for their good food. Chairs were hospital wheelchairs, tables were medical surgical tables, and uh, the lights were the same that were used in operating theaters. Waiters and waitresses were dressed in medical uniforms, and the food was served in hospital dishes. Even ordering a drink meant drinking from an IV drip rather than a normal glass. The clinic took adventurous eating to new heights, and although it's closed for now, there are rumors that the hospital-themed restaurants could be coming to a town near you. You better make an appointment. Number three is Au Noir. What would happen to your taste buds and sense of smell if you were forced to eat in the dark? That's the question that Au Noir restaurant in Toronto hopes to answer. It's Canada's first ever dark restaurant where customers are there to eat their food in the dark. The idea is that with your sight temporarily removed, your other senses will become more attuned to the experience of eating and therefore you'll notice the flavors and texture of the food to a greater degree. Au Noir's main goal, however, is to help patrons understand what it's like to be blind. The restaurant's entire staff are visually impaired and the restaurant hopes to draw attention to the fact that the visually impaired population experiences around 70% unemployment. That's actually a great idea promoting an important cause and definitely a unique experience. But I would love to know the logistics of that, how people prepare it without getting burned and dropping things. I just, I gotta know. Number two is the Cat Cafe. If you're a cat owner or enthusiast, you'll love the Cat Cafe in Tokyo, Japan. Now, just to be clear, despite the name, the Cat Cafe doesn't serve cat as a dish, but instead brings the cuddly little critters to you while you eat your food. The cats wander around the cafe, which is their home, and completely are used to strangers of all degrees and sizes. During daytime, patrons can enjoy patting a cat while drinking down a coffee or miso soup. In the evening, it kicks into overdrive when the Cat Cafe becomes a restaurant serving full meals. When that happens, the cafe performs their daily ritual where cats of all kinds are served their food in a large circle in the middle of the floor. I would imagine this is one place that even guide dogs aren't allowed to enter in the case that they chase the cats. Although that would be entertaining, I'm not gonna lie. And number one is the Modern Toilet Restaurant. If you were asked, where's your favorite place to eat? I'm sure the resounding answer would not be on the toilet. Again, unless you like that kind of thing. Well, this restaurant is in Taiwan, but it also has a chain of eateries across Asia. The original three-story restaurant is toilet-themed. Not necessarily a crappy idea. The walls are covered in tiles, and plungers droop down from the ceiling. My favorite detail is that the ceiling lights are poopy-shaped because, well, why not? If you're gonna go all in, you might as well commit. The chairs for patrons are unused toilets, while the dishes are all miniature toilet bowls. And the piece de resistance is the famous dessert menu, all of which are served in tiny squat toilets. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. I'm famished. 